You stay there, Gareth. As I'm the king of dragons, I just want to add some last-minute touches. Once the king of dragons has a fire-breathing dragon, I will be the greatest king ever! Ah! Behold! My dragon! Wow! It's amazing! It's great! He's on fire! What? Whoa! Oh. And it's coming towards us! I'd better call Fireman Sam. A fire-breathing dragon has set fire to Bessie's shed. Oh, that's a new one. A fire-breathing dragon has set fire to Bessie's shed. My Bessie's in that shed. All fires are out, and Bessie is fine, sir. Ooh, thank you, Sam. Well, Ellie, I might not have got into the smoke room today, but I did get to fight a fire-breathing dragon. <laughs> you did, Albus. <laughs> oh, dear. It looks like Norman might be about to get a good telling off. From Fireman Sam? No, far worse. Norman Price! I can't believe you nearly said Station Officer Steele's Nelly. Um, I think you'll find that's Betty. Station Officer Steele's Bessie ablaze! I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't do it on purpose. I know it was an accident, Norman, but you were playing with matches, and that is one thing you must never do. Oh, there you are. And you're hanging upside down. Brilliant. Norman is so wrong. You're scared of me, not the other way round. Oh, this must be one of those underground streams. Wah! Wah! Ah! Oh, no! no! Oh, no! Mandy's been turned into a bat! Be quiet, Norman Price! Sounds like she's a long way down. Call Fireman Sam! Mandy Flood is trapped in the caves. Looks like we're heading back to the mountains, Sam. Let's take Hydrus. We just heard a scream. Don't worry, I know these caves. Careful, Sam. This tunnel sometimes floods. It's really dangerous. Don't worry, Mandy. I'm coming down. Okay, Mandy. Here's some water. Oh, thanks, Penny. I slipped, but I think 
him okay? You're a long way down. What do you think, Penny? I can't carry her up. There's no room for us both to fit. We've got to find another way. What's that noise? Two experts are better than one. What's going on down there? I can hear Station Officer Steele working on the handcart. Oh, she'll be growing batty wings by now and hanging upside down. Poor Mandy Bat. Moose, is there a map of the caves? Yeah, right here. These are the caves. They go into the mountain this way. And the old mines go into the mountain this way. And they get pretty close, just where Mandy is trapped. It's all right, James. Nearly there. Ah, gotcha. Sam, here's two free tickets to the premiere of my new spy movie. It will have the most spectacular stunts ever. It sounds great, Norman. Just make sure the stunts aren't too dangerous, OK? Yes, Sam. Faster, faster! Oh, this car chasing looks incredible. Are you getting all this, Sarah? Yes, Norman. Aim for that wall of empty boxes, James. This is the bit where you have a spectacular crash. I can't do it! It's OK, James. I'll pull Fireman Sam. This McChin fellow is top-notch. <laughs> Reminds me of a young me. That's James, in a runaway go-kart, heading for the quay. James Jones is in a runaway go-kart, heading towards the quay. That's what I said. Oh, where am I? Oh, don't worry, James, I'm right behind you! Gotcha! Rescue, Uncle Sam. You were supposed to hit the boxes. Ah, uh, I may as well be doing all the stunts myself. Perhaps these stunts are getting a bit too spectacular, Norman. I'm sorry, Sam, but don't worry. We've only got one more scene to shoot, and it doesn't involve any danger. I promise. Okay, Norman. Well, good luck. Jake Pond, Super Spy, Scene Fifty Seven. Showdown in the villain's lair. Action! Ah, Mr. Pond. I've been expecting you. Glove fingers, my old foe. Oh, it's a trap! Number two, tie up the prisoner. And cut! Tie up the stunt double! I don't like movie making. Yay! One against us! That's not fair. It's three against two. No, it's not. It's three against three, Derek. You've got the super penguin on your side. Yes, he does. Oh, no. I cannot believe we are related, Norman Price. You'd better hurry up. It's getting dark. Soon the kids won't be able to see what they're doing. <laughs> they will now. Ta-da! Looks like we've done it, sir. And there's still some grit left. Marvelous! That old shaky, shaky, shaky method works like a word! <laughs> I'm fine! Good job we've got some grit left, sir. Shaky, shaky, Sam. Shaky, shaky, Ellie. Ah! That's it. I'm not playing with you anymore, Norman. Or that silly penguin. <gasps> Don't 
Don't listen to him, Pengy. Come on, we'll show them. Make me fall over and look stupid. Derek's right. You are a silly penguin. <laughs> oh, me floodlight. Off the eyes, everyone. I better call Fireman Sam. Norman Bryce is trapped on a burning ice rink with a penguin. Norman Price is trapped on a burning ice rink with a penguin. Did he say penguin? Come on, we'll take Jupiter. for Tom's helicopter. I'm calling the station. There's only one thing strong enough to move this tree. <laughs> Will anyone find us, Grandad? Don't worry, James. I'm sure we'll be rescued soon. <laughs> OK, Phoenix. You can do this. Easy does it. Saturn is ready to launch some, and I'm ready to head into the mountains. Come in, Sam. Saturn has detected body heat just ahead of you. Over. Copy that, Elvis. <gasps> it's Uncle Sam. Come in, Elvis. I found them, and I'm bringing them down. Roger that, Sam. I'll bring Saturn back. I'm sorry, Sam. I should have checked the weather before heading off. Firefighter Morris, standing by. Wallaby One, standing by. Well, this is relaxing. Right. On with the show. Oh, he hello, Ponty Pandy. <gasps> oh. 
Well done, Elvis. Oh, yes. Well, well done, Cridlington. Always knew you could do it. <laughs> right, all clear, everyone. Back to the station. Well, I just hope that Mike does as well as me. Hello, Ponty Pandy! I'd like to introduce you to the new member of my band, the Strum Master 2000. This place I know where the people say hello. Your new band member's not exactly Elvis, is he, Dad? He will be. Turn it all the way up, Joe. Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh no! Elvis really wouldn't do it like that. Someone needs to call Fireman Sam! Mike Flood's guitar machine has gone out of control and set the stage on fire. Mike Flood's guitar machine has gone out of control and set the stage on fire. Elvis, you and Ellie go in Jupiter. Penny, you and Arnold take Venus. I'll take Mercury. <laughs> Arnold, you get everyone to safety. Elvis, make sure the power's off. Penny, you help me tackle the blaze. Roger, Roger that, Sam. Power's off, Sam. I don't think the Strum Master 2000 will make it to his solo. Move back, everyone. Yes, you all need to be at least 5.5 metres further back for maximum safety. All out, Sam. Mandy, how am I doing? Another 20 seconds, and the world record is yours. Yes! Whoa! Only five seconds to go. Oh, 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 good. Look out! Oh. Ah! Ah! Don't just stand there, Mandy. Start the stopwatch. I'm going for the bridge. Record. Norman Price, what are you doing up there? Get down now. But, Mum, I'm trying to break a record. You'll break every bone in your body. I'm going to call Fireman Sam. <laughs> Norman Price is dangling dangerously from a bridge. Saved by the bell. Norman Price is dangling dangerously from a bridge. Is on its way. I can't hang on much longer, Mum. <laughs> no! Hurry, Sam! Hurry! My Norman is dangling by a finger. Hold on, Norman. Don't try, Sam. Ah! You're safe now, Norman. Sorry, Norman. A boy in Japan dangled from a bridge for two and a half hours. Oh, I'll never be a record breaker. Well, according to my calculations, that's the 57th time I've had to rescue you, Norman. Surely that's a record. Um, it's true. Norman, you really do have the world record for being rescued the most times. Yes, I knew it. My little treasure. A record breaker. Oh, oh, I'm so proud. <laughs> now, Norman, say thank you to Fireman Sam for rescuing you. Thank you, Fireman Sam. Now's your chance to invite Dillis to the dance, sir. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> Mrs. Price, uh, Dillis. I was wondering whether you'd do me the honour of being my guest at the firefighters' dinner and dance. Oh, oh, 
sorry, Station Officer Steele, but I'm already going with Trevor. He's a volunteer firefighter, you know. Have you seen him in his uniform? He looks lovely. Now what am I going to do? Who can I take to the dance? Um, <clears throat> may I have the pleasure, sir? Well, <laughs> don't mind if I do. I've got it! I've got it! Yes? No, no, it's gone again. And then the scary person pulled a really scary face. Will the fog of doom actually come into this story at any point, Norman? What? This is so boring. It's the scariest story ever. Oh, no, look, it's the fog of doom. Don't be silly, James. That's not fog. I know what I am! It'll have to wait, I'm afraid, sir. There's a fire at the Flood's house. There's a fire at the Flood's house! What are you all doing out of bed? <laughs> it's in the kitchen, Sam! Penny, you shut off the electricity. OK, Sam. I'll make sure everyone's all right. Air, 100%. Too much in the toaster and then forgot about it, Sam. Well, I hope you've learned that a toaster can be a very dangerous thing if you don't use it properly. I have, Sam. Oh, I, uh, just found these cuddly sheep pyjamas on that hedge over there. Huh, they're not mine! Well, they seem to have your name in them, Norman. Who's got the big baby pyjamas now? <laughs> cuddly sheep? That's even too babyish for me! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was the worst sleepover ever! Oh! Wait! I've got it! Am I a pair of trousers? <laughs> you are, sir. <laughs> you are. Fire at the whole fish cafe. A nipper and lion are trapped inside. Nip 
Nipper off his lead, Gareth? Well, Nipper can be a handful. I'm sorry, Fireman Sam. So am I. That's all right, you two. But you need to keep a careful eye on your pets at all times. Ah, uh, Woolly wants to know who's won the pet show. Oh, well, I, I'm not really sure, uh, considering no one crossed the finishing line. Hooray! <laughs> Kraut goes wild! Norris wins! Boy, a whisker! There you are, James. And there you are, Norris. Have some sunflower seeds. <laughs> I do love that moustache. <laughs> and for displaying remarkable courage and skill by saving his fellow animal friends, a special commendation goes to... Raider! Oh, <laughs> good boy. You can have that bath another day. See? Dogs are better than cats. I suppose dogs might be quite good. <laughs> and I suppose the cats are good too. <laughs> Congratulations, Radar and Norris. Norris? Where's Norris? Ooh! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, that tickles! <laughs> no, Norris! No! <laughs> All right, Anna. Yes, I'm fine. But look what you did. Why can't you ever do anything normal? Why do you have to be so embarrassing? Oh, I'm sorry, lover. I don't mean to embarrass you in front of your friends. But you do. Is everything all right? Everything's fine. You were just like a regular sausage cooked on a regular barbecue with no silly hats involved. All right, Hannah. Look! The bottle! Move back, everyone! It's spreading! Ah! Ah! Stop! We're moving towards the cliff! We're trapped! Oh! This time you really do need to call Fireman Sam! Oh no! My battery's flat! Now what are we going to do? We can use my hat! The solar panels have got a power adapter! There! There's a grass fire at the ruins and people are trapped on the cliff! There's a grass fire at the ruins, and people are trapped on the cliff. Oh, Trevor, I'm getting vertication again. Oh. Uh. What are we going to do? It's Uncle Sam! Penny, you hose down the grass. We'll get the floppy shovels. OK, Sam. Elvis, make sure everyone's okay. We need to get this fire under control. You'll slide down this um gentle slope. And I'll follow behind, filming you so it will look like the monster is chasing you down the mountain. But Uncle Sam told us not to go past those boundary ropes, Norman. Action! <laughs> Whoa! 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 Norman Price! That was very dangerous! Oh, be quiet and look scared! You really do look scared. Avalanche! Have a 
one. <gasps> Norman, Sarah, and Mandy have been caught in an avalanche. Norman, Sarah, and Mandy have been caught in an avalanche. We're on our way, sir. Okay, everyone. Now it's time to ski. Uh. Ah! We'll zigzag back and forth across the avalanche zone, just like we practiced. Listen out for your transceiver, and when it beeps louder, the kids are close by. It's beeping louder, Sam. We're getting close. Hello, Sarah, Mandy. They're trapped in the hut. Great snowplow, Elvis. Huh? I got it! Oh, thanks, Penny! <laughs> Woo You're safe now. Thanks, Uncle Sam. You really shouldn't have gone beyond the boundary ropes. They're there to protect you from danger. I'm sorry, Fireman Sam. I just wanted to make a really scary movie. Well, Norman, you might have made it a little too scary. <gasps> Maybe I did. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> I got it! Yes! Hey! Ow! Oh, my foot! Again! So, where are the grizzlies is the cheese? <gasps> And where's my little treasure? Uh, wait! Uh, slow down, cheese! Uh, ah, you're not getting away that easily, cheese! No cheese and no Norman Price. Ooh. I smell trouble. I thought that was the cheese. Um, excuse me, Station Officer Steele, but, um... Norman sent the cheese rolling off the course and ran off after it. That's treacherous terrain out there. Oh, no! My little treasure is lost in the mountains. Oh. Don't worry, Dillis. We'll find him. But it's quite a wide area. We'd better call Fireman Sam. I'll go and get the helicopter. Norman Price is missing in the mountains. Norman Price is missing in the mountains? This would have been the perfect job for Saturn's heat-seeking sensors. But Saturn's broken, huh? Sam. Hmm. Well, if we can't find him by sight, Elvis, perhaps we can find him by smell. you all to myself. Just you and me out here, all alone, on this rocky ledge. Help! If Radar can sniff out the cheese and follow the scent, he'll lead us straight to Norman. Well, I've been holding the cheese all day. My hands really smell of it. Radar, go fetch. It's okay. I found him, Tom. Norman Price is on the west face. Roger that. Lower the double harness. Oh. 
safe and sound. Stop! Stop! You're going too fast! I don't know how to stop! No, I don't like this! When I said ready for lift off, this isn't what I meant! Hang on! What do you think I'm doing? Watch and learn, Piddlington. Watch and learn. I think she's stuck, sir. I, I can see that, Cridlington. Well, don't just stand there. Try and push her out. Oh, um, right. Uh, 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 uh. Fire Officer Boyce with Jupiter. Sam? Ah, it's a bit of a problem. Jupiter's stuck under the bridge. Oh, no! What are we going to do? Only one thing we can do, Penny. One, two, three, all! I don't think this is going to work, sir. You may be right. If we can't pull her out, then there's only one thing for it. We'll have to cut the platform off. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Which way did she go? Across the field. That way. I didn't try to hang on to her, Sam. Don't worry, Norman. I'm here now. <laughs> Stay calm, Sarah. I'll get a ladder. I heard shout. What's up? I am! Help! Forget the ladder. I've got a better idea. Anything I can do, Sarah. <laughs> Grab the other end of this, Moose. And hold tight. OK, Sarah. Now lower yourself so you are just holding on by your hands. Now, when you drop, try and keep your back towards the floor. You can let go now. Someone say smork. Oh, there's a fire! Oh, no. If the water tower falls, it'll crush the train. Stand back, everyone. Oh, cool fire and sound. A fire at the new railway station? There's a fire at the new railway station. Now keep calm! The weight of the water in that tower will be very heavy and it could collapse at any moment. Elvis, spray water at the base of the tower. Penny, drive Venus up to the front of the train. Roger that, Sam. Everyone, stay with me, you two. Now drive, Penny! Penny pulled her out of the way just in time. Thank you, little Lily. If it wasn't for her, we wouldn't have seen the fire. Sam, if the train is okay, can we still have the opening ride then, Grandad? 
I'm afraid not, James. There isn't enough water in the tank yet. Oh, well, oh, never mind. Oh, isn't oh, that never a pity? Mind. Wait, I've got an idea. If it's water you need, Jupiter can fill it up. What a totally brilliant idea. It is, Elvis. So the opening can go ahead after all. And the Ponty Pandy Flyer joins the other splendid vehicles of Ponty Pandy. But I think you will all agree that today it was our very own Jupiter that saved the day. <laughs> She's full up now and ready to go. Thank you, Elvis, and thank you, Jupiter. All aboard! Well, Jupiter, you may not be as shiny as the Ponty Pandy Flyer, but you'll always be mine. Better call my brother. Call Fireman Sam. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> what was that, Elvis? <laughs> I did it! <laughs> Brilliant, Elvis. I uh, don't suppose I could have a turn, could I? Norman Price and his go-kart have ended up in the sea. Hasn't that happened before? bobbing this Halloween, but it's time for some Norman bobbing instead. Norman bobbing? How do you do that? Well, you're allowed to use your hands, but you have to lean out really far. And keep your balance, and... I warned you about that go-kart of yours. I know, ma'am. But I had this brilliant plan to get every sweet in Ponty Pandy. Every sweet in Ponty Pandy? No wonder there weren't any left. We like trick-or-treating, too. Um, yes. Sorry about that. Well, Norman, maybe it's time for the others to have some sweets now? Yes. Come along, all you other trick-or-treaters. Yes! <laughs> My sweets. A group of punky pandy citizens are standing in the middle of the lake with a monster on the roof. Not powerful. 
powerful enough. Something must be stopping the jetty from moving. Elvis, hold on to this. I'm going underwater. <gasps> no, no. no. Be fish food. Sam! Together already. We're brilliant, we are. Oh, ma'am, I didn't get to see the monster. I'm sure Sarah can tell us all about it. I didn't really see the monster. I just pretended to. But Sarah, you scared everyone and put them in a lot of danger. I know, Uncle Sam, I'm sorry. I won't ever tell stories again. But Sarah, why would you say such a thing? I wanted you to have lots of passengers on your train, Grandad. Well, don't worry, Sarah. I forgot how beautiful the mountains are. I know I'll be coming back here again on Gareth's train. Me too. It's not junk. Well, they're no match for my bare hands. They're getting all tangled up. Move over, mate. You're missing up my gear. If I was here first... Whoa! What the grizzlies? We're really stuck, eh? I'll have to phone for help. No signal. Ooh. Well, I think there's one thing you and I can agree on. We don't have long before this branch breaks. Kids, you better get help. Okay, pioneers. What shall we do? I can see Ponty Pandy from here. Oh, you're right. I can even see the fire station. Hey, maybe we can use my sunglasses to flash a signal. That's a brilliant idea, Sarah. We can use the Morse code from my book. Something's flashing on the mountain, sir. Oh, you're right. Three short flashes, three long flashes, uh, three short flashes. <gasps> That's Morse code for SOS. SOS? Sauce. Does someone want sausages? No, Cridlington. SOS is the signal people send when someone is in trouble. A distress signal from someone on Ponty Pandy Mountain! That signal must have come from the Ponty Pandy Pioneers, sir. They're on an excursion with Tom and Moose. Sam, you and Penny take Venus. You haven't a moment to lose. <laughs> Don't think this branch will hold out much longer, mate. Stand back, kids. Penny, I'm going to have to use the tree spurs. But we haven't tested them yet. We don't have any choice. OK, Penny, the spurs are holding. I'm going up. You keep the safety line clear. Sam. Well, Tom, I guess we learned our lesson today. We shouldn't have been so competitive. And we shouldn't have taken risks. Yeah, and I'm sorry we set a bad example for the kids. Luckily, the Ponty Pandy Pioneers saved the day with teamwork and quick thinking. I'm not sure that's a good idea. Ah! Oh, oh, I got you, mate. No, that's a free run. Oh, no. I'm stuck too. Right, that 
That's enough. I think I'd better call Fireman Sam. You two stay there. <laughs> Tom and Moose are stuck down a foxhole? <gasps> I'm on my way, sir. Right, Spiddington, you heard Station Officer Steele. It's an emergency. You'll need to drive a bit more quickly, but you can still drive smoothly. <laughs> ah, <laughs> well, at least I saved half of it, I suppose. Stay calm. We'll have you out of there in no time. OK, Sam, but it feels like the dead might be given way. Oh, no! We have to widen the exit hole so we can pull them out. Here you are, Sam. Ah, thanks, Elvis. We'd better start digging, and fast. Stop! I think we're going to have to go slowly and carefully, sir. You know what, Cridlington? You might be right. Yes, we don't want the den collapsing. You widen the hole at the top, and I'll work at the sides. I think I'd better keep the roof propped up with the jack. It looks like driving isn't the only thing you need to do slowly and carefully, sir. Time we got stuck in a tree. Well, I hope the wild men of Ponty Pandy aren't going to make a habit of diving into foxholes. Yeah, <laughs> don't worry, Sam, we won't. I'm very impressed with you, Cridlington. You've clearly taken the slow and careful instruction to heart. The advanced driving certificate is yours. <laughs> Thank you, sir. The real fox spotter. Well, in that case, I think she should be the wild girl of Ponty Pandy. <laughs> Chicken pasta back, sir. I think I'll just go out for some fresh air. I can't go for much longer, Mandy. My arms feel like they're going to fall off. Be quiet, Norman. That wasn't the turtle either. It was just a log. I want to go home. The waves are getting huge. Oh, all right, Norman. I suppose I'll never see a real turtle. So which way do we go? Um, that way? I said that way, Norman. OK. <laughs> I'm trying, Mandy, but the waves are taking me this way. But that's taking us towards... Like she's going along the coast. Yes, she certainly doesn't mind the sea being a bit rough. Wait a minute, what's that? It's a rowing boat. That's Norman and Mandy, and they're heading for the cliffs. But where? There's miles of cliffs along the coast. Look, they're near the lighthouse. Norman and Mandy are in a rowing boat and heading towards the cliffs near the lighthouse. Got it, and on my way. Now back to Neptune. 
Boom top! <laughs> What's up, me? Don't worry, Norbert. I'll be back. I did it! I trained Radar to present the trophy! <laughs> There's a fire at Dillis' shop! Ooh, ooh. There's a fire at the Whole Fish Cafe as well! We have two emergencies! A fire at the Cut Price store and a fire at the Whole Fish Cafe! Sam, you and Elvis steal the shop. Penny and I will head for the cafe! Right, sir! Fire. So first, I'm going to turn off the power. Petition means no trophy. Well, there is someone who should get a trophy, and the winner is Elvis for being the best dog trainer in Ponty Pandy. to go back and get more diving gear. I'm going in. Keep back, everyone. 
This is a very delicate historical find. Where? Is it behind that nasty, stinky pile of rubbish? That nasty, stinky pile of rubbish, Norman, is the wreck of the Ponty Pandy Pearl. The Ponty Pandy Pearl? Did you find the treasure map? No, Norman. Well, not yet, anyway. Ahem! Thank you. People of Ponty Pandy, in celebration of our historical find, I hereby declare tomorrow Ponty Pandy Peak Day! <laughs> <laughs> If I rummage through this lot, I could find that treasure map. Uh, no one's rummaging through anything, Norman Price. The president of Newtown Museum is on his way to Ponty Pandy now. Who's that? Hmm. So these are the findings. And would you mind moving that lamp? It's shining in my eyes. And, uh, be kind enough to get me a cup of tea. Uh, <laughs> Two sugars. Uh, well, of course. Hmm. If you're stuck, give him a shout. He'll be there to help you out. So move aside, make way.